Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video, you golf life legend. Now today's video is a bit different because we have teamed up with the brilliant The Athletic. Now I'm sure you legends at home know what The Athletic is, but if you don't, in a nutshell, they are double double decent. They offer the reader incredible insights, exclusive columns and dedicated club coverage. Get involved, the link is down below. And the World Cup is no different. The Athletic Massive have set up an emergency hotline for all your World Cup queries. So if you're sitting at home and go, mm, I wonder what the answer to that is. Basically, you can call the number for free in the description and The Athletic will tell you. Simple as that. So today on the way round, we are going to do a quiz. And with the massive Wales versus England game coming up, it's going to be centred around that. We've got an English bloke. All we need now is a Welsh legend. And we've got one. And here is the Welsh legend, Mr. James Collins. How are we, mate? Good, good, are you? Yeah, good. Good, good. The amount of time I've been trying to get you on this. <laughs> I'm a busy man, mate. I'm more busy now than when I was playing football. Absolutely, absolutely. But we're going to play an eight-hole match. We're going to do uh, four questions about England, four questions about Wales. No problem. So um, if you get the question wrong, I can make you take a shot again. OK. But if you get it right, we just play as is. OK. All right. I shouldn't get too many wrong. OK. All right. Here's the first question for you. Which Welsh player is known as the Welsh Perlo? How do you know this? Yes, the one and only Super Joe Allen. Absolute legend of a man. I mean, I think I know the answer as well. You've, you've played with the man. You're right. Yeah. Let's go back to the hotline to find out the answer. That's correct. Joe Allen, the former Liverpool and Stoke City midfielder, is known as the Welsh Pirlo. It was Mr. Good. Joey Allen. Good. What Thank a player, much. man. What a player. So underestimated, it's a joke. Like, we talk about Gaz and Rambo, but what, he done, what he's done for Wales. We wouldn't be the team without him. You notice how, how it is when he's not playing. Um, he's just one of them. Same as Nobs at West Ham. Just yeah. goes under the radar, does his business. Very rarely man of the match, but he's certainly not worse than the work he does. Certainly centre half when he's playing in front of you, the work he does. And looking back to 2016 in France, the work he was doing was just went so unnoticed. And until you play with him and see what he does, you, you never know how good he is. He's, he's phenomenal. Well, you don't and get a great the, lad. You don't get the nickname the Welsh Palo for no, no reason. No, exactly, do you? exactly. Right. So no shots. We're just going as is. Let's go. At the bank, there's a bit of draw, yeah. That's the plan. That's oh, not. that's straight up in the air. It's turning, it's coming. That's lovely, isn't it? It's a long way back. That is lovely. So right, James, you're a five, aren't you? I'm a 14. Yes. So, eight holes. Do I I'll get... give you a shot every hole. Shot every hole? Yeah. <laughs> I've been at the range all morning, I haven't told you. <laughs> <laughs> shot every hole? Lovely. I know this course very well. The Centurion. Is unbelievable. Come on. Ah, oh, hang on. It's got to get past that tree. You might be all right, mate. Strike oh, though. I'm happy with that. Straight. Happy with that. Come Normally on. Normally go dead left here. Cool. I'm just gonna try and get it by that stake. Get oh, down. No. Just got past my three wood. <laughs> I mean, this is high tariff. Two, two, two. Oh my God. Sit. Sit. Oh my God. Are you serious? Are you <laughs> serious? <laughs> what, what was you expecting? Putting for eagle. Told you I'd give you a shot hole. Come on, on we go. <laughs> <laughs> what a legend! That's a strike. Go on. That is a shot. Go on. Go. Oh, Sh tad short. Is it a bit short? I think so. Oh, connected with it though. It's a strike. <laughs> Oh, it's a shot. It's a oh. shot. <laughs> it's a shot. Come on, 
love the golf. I love it so much. This is Mr. James Collins for an eagle. I mean, it's, I haven't been on the putting green, so this could go anywhere. Come on, then. Oh, you can't go up there. That is horrendous. Oh. Sitting the same, yeah? No, yeah. no, this is for birdie. That's for birdie. Oh, my yeah, but I've got lord. A short hole, so, yeah, sitting the same. Oh. I, I need this for the half. Or have you picked up? No, I don't pick up. You haven't given it to me. Yeah, England, Wales, mate, you're not getting anything today. <laughs> the rivalry. The England, Wales rivalry. Oh, I can't believe how bad that first putt is. Come on, him. Get on my marker, tubes. Huh? Get on my marker. Oh, I love it. West Ham. Gotta keep it. The irons. Keep it in the family. The irons. <laughs> Oh. That is a horrendous three putt on the first, oh. that. Wales have fallen short. Come on. Oh! No. <laughs> I'll get, you can have that one, mate. I thought that was in. You can have that one. I'm like, it. <gasps> nil nil still. Still nil nil. Nil nil. Here we go. Harry Kane won the Golden Boot at the last World Cup. Who was the last English player to win it? I don't... I think I know the answer, and I think I know the answer because he was on the live coverage the other day. Talking about it. Giving it, giving it <laughs> last, he joked about it the last week or so. So I'm going to go Gary Lineker. So let's go to the hotline to find out if the answer is Gary Lineker. That's correct, Gary Lineker was the last English player to win the Golden Boot at the World Cup Finals with six goals in 1986. And there we go, it was Gary Lineker. Wow. So you can't make me take a shot no. or anything like that, so we're playing. I need shots at the here minute. Here we go, here we go, par three. Oh, yeah. Nine iron, one, five, six. Turn. I mean, that's a nothing golf shot, that. It's just safety, Sam, isn't it? Still dancing. I'm dancing. <laughs> All right, I've got an eight iron. Sure, that's enough. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh no. it's a bit heavy. Oh, that could be plugged. That Straight could be plugged in, in a puddle. One, what's it like to represent your country? And two, what is the rivalry like with England? <laughs> I wonder where that was coming. Uh, it's, it's, you know, everyone says it. it's, it's, your, it's your dream as a young lad, as soon as you start playing football, to, to play for your country. Uh, and certainly the latter stages of my international career, obviously going to France in 2016, you know, it wasn't always great. Like mm. the, the early years, when I first started, obviously we weren't qualifying, weren't weren't getting anywhere near qualifying. And then, like I said, just to play for your country and, and represent them is, is unreal. And the fans, you know, during the bad, you know, we're all seeing the fans now and how good they are, but during the good times, they were the same. Uh, the bad times, sorry, they yeah. were exactly the same. The Welsh um, fans are oh, brilliant, aren't they? I've, from, uh, from the game against USA, I think I've watched the national anthem like 15 times already. Just the, the passion they bring, bearing in mind in Qatar as well, yeah. the, the, the sacrifices these boys and, and, and women and kids have made to get out there. It's just unreal and it just, proves what sort of fans we got, the passion they've got, and, and I think that comes across in the team. Um, and, you know, you ask any young, Welsh young boy, girl, to, to represent your country at the highest level at tournaments, there's nothing like it. And it didn't look like it was possible until, started a long time ago with Mark Hughes, I think, yeah. we saw a bit of a change under Sparky. And then we had a couple of years that, that it didn't go well under John Toshak. Not didn't go so well, because you look back at it and you think he was, John Toshak was the guy who brought in Gareth Bale, Aaron yeah. Ramsey, those sort of boys who played them when they were young. So then, and then obviously Gary Speed came in 2010 and, and just and just changed Welsh football forever. The way we the way we trained, the way we travelled, the way we ate, everything. And um, obviously it's, it's snowballed, and now we're 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 competing at the the highest level, which 
I think we should be with the players we got and certainly with the support we got. Anywhere, like you say, you go to Qatar and take 3,000 fans out there, it looks like, looks like you're in Cardiff, yeah. do you know what I mean? So it's just unreal. You know, my first cap, one of the you know, best days of my life, certainly for me and my family. And then go on to get 51, you know, it's, it's what dreams are made of. So good, so good. And respect to you for doing that. Like, what's it like playing against England? <laughs> it's, uh, it's lively, to say the <laughs> least. I'll put, it, I'll put it that way. It, I think a lot of it comes down to, obviously, we, like I say, we weren't qualifying. It was always talk in the press, talk about England and, and what they were doing. And, and rightly so, probably, because we weren't, we weren't performing. But um, any sport you play, you're Welsh or anything you do, you, know, you, you want to beat the English. Stereophonics, well, as long as, long as we beat the English, we don't care. So uh, <laughs> nah, it's typical. You know, yeah. it's, uh, it's a rivalry, it's, um, it's massive, massive. 2016 we played them and uh, I was on the bench that day and they, they scored last minute and I've done, I, yeah, yeah. I just remember seeing um, Gary Neville celebrating, running down the line and I was just like, oh, that's not, that's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not great that. Just, if you know what I'm like <laughs> as well, to, you could have imagined what yeah. I wanted to do to him as well. We lost the game last minute, but um, yeah, the rivalry is unbelievable. I'm not going to show you. <laughs> Commit and believe. Get up. Oh. Still you, I think. Oh. We're going one up here. For another birdie. Oh, slow down. Oh. Oh. Gee whiz. My putting Ginge. is horrendous. Come on. Oh, that's heavy as well. Oh, what am I doing? I'll tell you what, we're not lighting it up on the greens, are we? I think I've got two for it, to be fair. I don't fancy, I don't fancy it there. Come on, engine jap. Gotta go a tad left to right, innit? I might cozy it up and hope you miss. Shorty swing my way. You can't be. Shoulder Hang on, how many are you for? Is that right? Yeah, this, so this is for five. You are in for. So you need this for the half? Yeah. Do you want to flag in or out? Uh, keep it in, please, sir. Keep it in, yeah. Come on. I don't fancy you one bit. Another three putt, just to let you know. Oh, lovely, <laughs> lovely. One nil up early, lovely. Wales, one nil. Come on, that's not a good old. <clears throat> Hopefully, I'm gonna be able to make you take a shot again here because I don't think you're gonna get this because it's quite random. Because <laughs> um, the Athletic have thrown a little curveball in there. In 1996, Wales lost a friendly 2-1 against which current League Two side? I randomly know the answer. Only because I was in the pub the other week and I was chatting to a fan. Leighton Orient's the answer. I was chatting to a Leighton Orient fan and we talked about the World Cup, Wales, blah, blah, and he randomly went on to say they played Wales in 96 and beat us. And that was his argument that we weren't going to do very well at the World Cup. So it's Leighton Orient. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you seem quite convinced it is. by that. It's Leighton right. Orient, I know it is. So let's back, go back to the hotline to find out, is it Leighton Orient? That's correct. In 1996, Wales famously lost by two goals to one to current League Two side Leighton Orient. Well, you can thank that fan because <laughs> you would never have known that, would you? I was probably about 10 points in and somehow it's, it's, it's stuck in there for, for some reason. It is a random one, though, isn't it? Very random. Have you ever seen an international team play Why a Wales League Wales team? Why Wales Orient? I've got no idea. Come on, Ginger. Three, would you? Turn, oh, you've done not a, that way. You've done a Dustin Johnson. No, that's getting nowhere near it. That is... I don't know, the tee's forward. Ooh. Might be all right. Oh, oh yes! Oh, no, I've heard, heard a bit of wood. 
<laughs> I've heard a bit of wood. That could have been, that was tiger like. Oh, that's true. That could be that. that could be trouble. Hit a worldy drive. Thought it was unbelievable, Jeff, but it's hit a tree, come back. Now I've just got to go through the trees. Or I'm not going to go through the trees. That's just stupid. I'm just going to play it out. Just yeah, like, like it. There we Still go. Yeah, I do. Still you though. It's a bit heavy, but Come it's going to work. Come on. Oh, oh dear, 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 dear. <sighs> anyway, dancing. It's two now. Oh. That's all over it. Oh. Oh. Uh, just leave it, wind. Oh. That could be two nil, mate. <laughs> you got, you know, you got to take advantage of the bit of luck you get in the after tea. When you gave me a shot per hole, I was like, oh, here we go. I'm there. off plus five, really. <laughs> <laughs> On we go. Oh, not enough. This is not good. <laughs> He's just laughing. At me. Take your time, mate. It's you to go. He's just laughing at me. Don't chunk it. Surely you can't chunk this one. Come on. It's got to go. Surely that's got to go. Oh. What you had four? Oh uh, no, that was my fifth. I'm, that I'm... was your fifth. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be the biggest lag you've ever seen. <laughs> Come on, go for a birdie. No. I want to see a James Colin birdie dance. <laughs> God, it is muddy around here. How's that stayed there, by the way? Come on, then. Do, 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 do. do one. Do, do. Did, did, did. Oh, oh tell you what. it's good though. In for is that four. right? Is that right? That's all good for me. That's in for four. That was my fifth shot. Wales are 2 0 up. This Should is an three. absolute drubbing. Come on, Pete. Right, I'm getting my pants well and truly pulled down. Uh, Wales 2 0 up. Mr. James Collins, an absolute fire. It's time for my question. Pick me up, Ginge. Right. The last time these two sides met in a tournament was Euro 2016. I was there. Who scored England's first goal? Ah. Don't you were there, me. so don't you definitely know this. Don't, don't look, look at me for any help. I'm gonna, oh Jesus. I'm going to go Daniel Sturridge because I know he's on fire that tournament. Daniel Sturridge is my answer. Athletic hotline, please tell me I'm right. <laughs> so Jamie Vardy of Leicester City was a player who scored the first goal in the last time these two sides met in 2016. And he scored that goal 10 minutes after coming off the bench for England before Daniel Sturridge, who also came off the bench that day, scored the winner in the 91st minute. It was Jamie Vardy's having a party. So, I knew you as well. Did you? Was it? Well, I can't remember the goal. Any good? <laughs> I can't remember the game. <laughs> <laughs> right, so on this hole, this is what I need, just what I need. You can t make me take one of my shots again. Your 2 0 up. This could be 3 0. Wales, whitewash. Get the big boy out. I want to see you. Yeah, smash it's the coming. Goal it's ball. coming. Just to let you all know, my bad one is severely left to right. But when it's good, it's good. And I'm not holding back. Cut that corner. Come on, baby. Ah, get right of the bunker. Oh. I didn't actually see that I down. I didn't see it. Oh, oh it's a golf yes, shot. Yes, baby. Trap. Get up there. Trap. It's gone, has it gone over oh, the track? No, 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 it's fine. Is Great it? shot. Yeah? Bit short, but all right. Now, I think I can, with my 
hybrid. I think I can get over those bunkers. I need to win this hole. So I'm going to go hybrid. James is still looking for his ball, so... He might have a chance. Oh, it's a nice connection, but it's gone right. Yeah, it's all right, that. It's all right. Come on. And he's still looking for his ball, so he can't say, take it again. I've never carried those bunkers before, I must be honest. T was forward again, though. Um, 186, not the best. Uh, six iron, come on in. 3-0, all over it. It's probably a seven iron. Oh, sit down. Sit down, soft. Putting. Here you go. <laughs> what can I do? James, you mentioned Euro 2016. Yeah. Back on the team when we were doing the question. How good was that for you and the Welsh boys? Yeah, mate, honestly, you, you can't describe how it was. Um, just the absolute time of our lives. Um, obviously not, not getting anywhere near qualifying for a long, long time. Getting there, and, and do you know what was best about it, mate? Obviously we did really well in the tournament. Meeting up for Wales then, it was like going to the club. Yeah. We all got on, it was great banter, you know, Chris Coleman, Cookie the manager, was unbelievable the staff. And we went there and just sort of, no one was talking about us. Went there, went there to enjoy it, we done well getting there, and, and obviously what happened. Honestly, he was away, from, like, <clears throat> away from your family for long. I think it was nine weeks in all. We was away, but you would have stayed there for a year. Do you know what I mean? It was just off the off the pitch, the laugh. We had some characters, Joe Ledley. <laughs> Joe do you know? did, oh, did, mate, did, <laughs> and, and to be fair to Cookie, like after every game, he'd always have a couple of beers in the dressing room, and we'd have the music on. Joe would be dancing, but oh really? Yeah, so yeah. It was like, not like nothing, man. Yeah, do you know what I mean? But, Szechuan, but I wouldn't imagine like the England boys doing it. No. Do you know what I mean? Not, yeah, yeah. not like we. No, no one ever would take the mic or anything. We'd have a couple of beers and then bang, we're on to the next one. But I, f I speak about it every day. Like it, honestly, really? it's yeah. the absolute. If there was a time you could go back to and stay there, yeah, it'd be that in France. It was just unreal, everything. Because and, and it was in France, so the families were back and forth and. Just the squad we had, obviously Gaz and Rambo, yeah. but you know it goes it goes back past that. You know we had uh, Owen Von Williams was there, was like the goalkeeper. Yeah. He'd have the guitar out in the evening and just all be chilling together. And mate, honestly, it's one of those times that if, like I said, if you could go back to, it was just unreal. And then to go and do what we done in the tournament. The only disappointing thing is the only game I started was the semi-final was the one we lost. <laughs> 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 yeah. but honestly, and I'll say it now, I, I think if. I think Ben Davis got suspended. I came in for Ben. Yeah. Aaron Ramsey got suspended, and I think Andy King might have come in for the thing. Like me and King, he done done well. But I think if the team, if if Rambo and, and Ben Davis had played, I think we would have beaten Portugal. And then Imagine that. I speak of, I speak to Teddy Sheringham a lot, and he talks about 1996 with England, like yeah. looking back and probably should have won it. I know it's a bit might, might seem a bit strong. We should have won it, but. Honestly, I think if those two boys had played, not that we did anything wrong, me and uh, me and King Yu came in, but it's one of them. Like you look at the final, the final wasn't great. If we'd mm. got there, the, the momentum we had, and, the, and obviously the fans behind us. Yeah, could and, you and, imagine? And it's the, the it's the only game I started and we lost. <laughs> I don't know why. Ronaldo played, obviously scored. Mate, that goal in the semi-final. Yeah, I've never seen nothing like it. So I'm marking. I think, yeah, second half, start the second half. I'm marking Jose Font, who was at West Ham with, yep. centre half, and James Chester's marking Cristiano. So, corners come in, Nanny's taking the corner, I think. I remember sort of going front stick ish penalty spot, and I've, I've looked back at if VAR was in, it's a foul all day, me on Jose, I'm holding him, he's holding me. And I remember looking at and thinking, there's no way anyone's heading that ball. I knew Cristiano and Chesney were behind me. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, surely he can't, he can't get on that unless he's made a silly big run. It must have been, it seemed like it was double me, how high this ball was going over me. And I remember having Jose here like that, yeah. and looking back and seeing Ronaldo, I swear to God, mate, I've never seen anything like it in my life. I don't know the actual stats, but where he headed it from and the power he headed it. Chessie done well, Chessie almost got there, but 
He's just literally. I'm just like, thinking. I'm his th feet must have been like. There's a picture of me holding Jose turning, and yeah. his feet must be here. And I'm 6'4. Jesus Christ. So I'm, as it goes over, mate, I'm thinking that's going out for a goal, that's going out for a throw in the other side. Yeah. We're sweet. And he's, mate. That's just super human. It's just isn't ridiculous. It? Like, uh, like I said, Chesie done well, but there's no, no one could do anything. No one <laughs> could do anything. Me and Chesie, like I could have been holding him, and and it was just off the charts. And then obviously doing so well, and after that game, yeah. it's like oh, it's come to an end. And then we went back to Cardiff, and it was just unreal I scenes, bet. unreal. Um, like something that like obviously rugby's big, been massive, still is massive yeah. in Wales, and we and we had never seen. I remember getting on a plane somewhere to go abroad, and there'd be like a man and his dog waiting to wave us off on the plane. Good luck, boys. Good luck, boys. And then you see the, the Wales rugby doing so well, and it's the first time we had really seen that euphoria, that sort of support, and it was just, mate, honestly, I say that's that's, I speak about it every day. It's, it's Memory. absolute time in my life, mate. Unbelievable. And everyone would say the same. Unbelievable. Oh, don't do that. That's right. You've got to hit into the ball, haven't you? That's ball first. Right, come on. Par five, second shot. Oh, that's a golf shot. Yes. Yes. Yes! Well done, mate. Well come done. On. Well done. You didn't say, you didn't say play it again. Eagle. It's got a chance. Eagle. It's got to go. It's got to go again. Oh, oh it's bang on line. <laughs> It's absolutely bang on line. Tap it in for a birdie. Do, 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 do. Shall I miss it on purpose? Do, 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 do. Can do if you want. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do that often. Right. You got this for the half. No, you've got a shot. You've got two for the half. This is for the win. Come on. Oh, oh. Oh! Yeah, you, you can have that. Can you have it? Yeah, you can have that, mate. Can you give it to me? <laughs> Still two. You give it to me? Yeah, he yeah, didn't you make me play that. a shot again. Oh, no. He's <laughs> got away with it. <laughs> that is a school boy, that. What year was Wales' first World Cup appearance? 1958. It's all, it's all anyone spoke about for the last... I knew it anyway, but it's obviously it's the biggest gap between someone qualifying to us qualifying this year, ever, I think. I still can't believe you got Leighton Orient. I know. <laughs> it's, it's one of them, it's tacit knowledge, mate. Sat in the pub and someone tells me, it goes right. in. 1958? You're, yeah, you're 1958. Let's get the uh, confirmation from The Athletic. So Wales' first World Cup appearance was in 1958, and they were actually knocked out by Brazil. It was 1958. Right, you to throw first. 2 0. Wales, I love this. We need this one. 152, mate. I love this hole here at the Century. Always plays a bit longer than, than you think this. I'm going to hit a 9 iron at it. Oh. Ah, oh, it's a bit cutty. Oh. It's a bit cutty. Oh. Oh! Is that short? It's gone short. I told you it plays longer than you think. Oh. That was a terrible swing. How short sure are we talking? Very short. Sure. Yeah. It's oh, well no. down the hill. Oh, oh that is trouble down there. Is that trouble? Are oh, you alright? Stay yeah. left, left of the bunker. James, you played with quite a few managers over mm. your uh, a long career. Who was your favourite? Cool. Uh, you played with some under some good. All ones. career? All including career. Wales, including all clubs? West Ham, Villa. Uh, I always say it, for me, it was Martin O'Neill at Villa. Um, just because how he was with, with me, really, and uh, what he'd done for my game. I went there and probably had the best year of my life, football-wise. Yeah. Um, he, just, uh, he just didn't complicate it. He, he just, you know, all his meetings and, and stuff, to me, it was just basically go out and be a defender. So, which I loved, you know, the header in tackling and all that. He just made it so simple for me. Yeah. Um, 
and, and we were doing really well. We got, I think, the first year I went to Villa, I did, didn't want to go there, to be honest. I didn't want to leave West Ham yeah. at the time. It sort of come about that I was there. Good for West Ham, good for me, my career at the time. But um, yeah, he, just, he was just brilliant. Uh, not, not everyone's cup of tea at Villa at the time because we didn't train, didn't do a great deal of training, nothing really tactical, but he was just, he was just brilliant. He had a group of players that knew what they were doing and worked hard and, and, and we, we, were, we were pretty successful. Um, and he was just a good guy, really got on with him. Yeah. He, he sees something in me that he liked. He knew I was a half-decent defender to do the sort of old-school stuff well, head it, kick it, tackle, and that's what he needed. And uh, like I said, as soon as I went there, like the first meeting we had, this is how simple it was. We signed me and Richard Dunn on the, me and Richard Dunn signed on the Thursday of deadline day. And yeah. we're playing the Birmingham Derby against Birmingham, St Andrews on the Sunday. Spicy. Yeah, it was spicy. So we got in the meeting on the Saturday night. Uh, Martin done his little talk, as, as managers do. And uh, he sat down and went to me and Big Richard Dunn. Any, any questions, boys? Big Dunn, he went, yeah, boss. What? Um, what are we doing from set plays? Are we man marking? Are we obviously we were centre off? So we man marking? Are we zonal? He went uh, right. What we'll do is I signed you two to head it, so you head it, <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> that was it. That was it. You two stand on the six yard line and head it. Don't worry about anything else. When that ball comes in, just commit to and go and head the ball. We conceded one goal all year from a corner. <laughs> I mean, you I can't mean, get I mean, any more basic. It, make, it makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, like, me and Danny probably, you look back, were probably a bit big-headed, probably the two best headers of the ball in the yeah, Premier yeah. League at the time, with others, but any time the ball come in, Big Richie shout, you'd go and edit, or if it was on me, I'd go and edit. One goal, or you? It worked. Worked a treat. <laughs> Absolutely. But worked you mentioned um, well, West Ham as well. Yeah. I love the story you tell about Gianfranco Zola, obviously. Oh, it's unreal. He was the uh, manager of West Ham for a bit. But wasn't he still just absolutely Mate, mustard? honestly, I think it was either first or second session, Jan Frank will come in, and by the way, like he could be in it. What a fella. Unbelievable, oh, he's man. Coming, yeah. Yeah. He's my hero. He, he, he's yeah, my hero. He spoke about him. He's an incredible fella. And um, I think it was first, or certainly the first week he had came in as manager, and he was still fit. So, first session, we had just spent a load of money. Um, Eggert Magnuson had come in and put a few quid in. We signed Matty Epson, Rob Green, do you know what I mean? Big, big signers at the time. And Jan Frank goes in, he's training, first, first or second day or the first week. So the ball, I'll never forget it, doing a little five-a-side. Ball's got played in to Jan Franco. He's done some mad little skill. Sent Matty Upson, our new signing, the wrong way. Spun and dinked, dinked Rob Green, our new signing, goalkeeper, in training. And it's like all the boys are stood there thinking, like this is this 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 it, it can't carry on because yeah. if the boys the boys are thinking the manager's better than them, do you New know what I mean? signings as well. I know. And then after training, like maybe not the same day, you take Nobs or whoever was taking the free kicks, and he used to do ten from the left, ten from the middle, ten from the right. Wall in goalkeeper the lot, and Jan Franco would take him with Nobs where it was, and say there's thirty three kicks, Jan Franco would score twenty five, like off the scale, and then. After that, I remember like a couple of weeks later, we weren't doing too well. I remember sitting next to Nobes in the dressing room going, Geezer, we might have to go knock on the manager's door and ask him if he can play <laughs> on a Saturday. <laughs> Could you imagine I saw, that? And I, and I know we're telling it as a joke now. I yeah. think we had the serious conversation going, boss, like, you fancy a game Saturday? <laughs> you put your pants in that. He was just off the charts. How close were you to knocking I, on his I mean, door and asking that? I'm telling it as a joke now, but I think, I think it was close. Serious I think, conversations? He, 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 yeah, proper. Me and Nobs, we used to sit there, we sat next to each other the whole time we were together at the club. But um, seriously, just thinking, this, this case has got to play. <laughs> he's, the, he's our best player. <laughs> and, he's the, and he's the boss, like. He's unreal. Gianfranco Zola. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh, yeah, I've chunked it as well. Oh. You've got a chance, mate. Ooh. Look who is pitched, though. Commit, 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 commit. Oh, oh I take, take that. Heavyweight. Do you know what? I take you that. Take it. I'm taking it just because. I, I mean, it's you're rubbish, further but away. <laughs> you're further away than you were, and you'll take it. Oh, I've bombed it. Oh, absolutely bombed it. Oh. oh. Come on, in, mate. All right, come on. For a near par, wherever you are. Come on. See my line. 
Oh, come that's around. got a sit as well, come is around, it? Come around, come around, come around. Oh! So we're, we're lying here the same, yeah? Ooh. Yeah, but I've got a shot. Oh, of course you have. Yeah, but if I hold this and you miss that... Yeah. Uh, it's... This is my fourth shot, that's your... This is my fourth? Yeah, so... If I hold this and you miss... It's all, yeah, that'd be all square, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, of course. My putting is horrendous! Come on, stick it in. Do you know what I love before I putt is professional footballers' mentality. Like, even now you're playing like a fun game of golf. I know it's England versus Wales. You're so, every footballer we've had on is so like... Just this 152 <laughs> yards, I've just got a five, mate. What, there's a bit in that. <laughs> I tell you what, there's a bit. What was I saying about is it, is it, mentality? There's a bit in that. <laughs> oh, it's still. You two won it nil. on a five. Still 2 0, right? No, you win that. Oh, I've won I got it. a five. Oh, it's 1 0. Wales 1 0. England coming back. So, uh, England pulled one back. 1 0. Given to you more than pulled back, I think. <laughs> Shocking hole. Right. Hit me up with a question, the big legend. Right. How many teams took part in the 1966 World Cup that England famously won? Ooh, tough. I wouldn't get it. I'm not going to get it either. And you, can have <laughs> a, you, can, you, can have, you can have an estimated guess off this year's, I'm sure, can you? Or off previous years. Yeah, but surely... What do you more or less than they are now? It's got to be less. Oh, you, you've got an answer. I know where I'd go. Where would you go? I, I don't want to give you any sort of gauge. Um, 1966 World Cup. I'm going to go... 20. What would you no, go? But I, I was thinking 24. Okay. Well, you're going 20, yeah? I'm going 20. I don't think Let's so. go to the hotline and find out. Unfortunately, that's incorrect. There were only 16 teams taking part in the 1966 World Cup but of course we'll be seeing 48 sides compete in the 2026 edition. 16 teams. It's not a lot, is it? It's not a lot. But we still want it. So. Still want it. Yeah. That's, well, well, we still that's all want that matters. That's so all that matters. You can make me I take can, a shot. I will again. make you take a shot this time. <laughs> Don't, forget, Don't yeah? forget it. Right, yeah. here we this go. is a tough old list. Look at it, beautiful. Ridiculous cut coming here. I'm aiming over those trees. I bet it stays dead straight. High cut. Oh, like that. That is what, Keep coming. That's what you said. That has gone nowhere, but I'll take it. Fairway. Oh, oh look it's the at drive of the day. Gee, get up there. That is drive of the day. Come I think, on. I think you're still behind me, but it's your best drive of the day. Thank you, sir. Well done. I mean, I can't see a, a, a thing. At that bunker as hard as you can. Sun's straight in my face. Par five. Par five, okay. Out of bounds right, just saying. Thank you. <laughs> can't see it at all. Can't help you. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> this is hitting hope, this. I've absolutely nutted it as well. I've got it. Have you got it? I've got it. Is it going right? It's a great shot. Oh, that's an unbelievable that golf day. shot. Unbelievable golf shot. I lost it a bit in the sun, but that's an unbelievable shot. I think the less said there, the better. 
That's not much better. Full shot. Come on. Pitching wedge. Oh. I don't like the look of this either, especially with my putting. He's bombed another one. No, that's nice. Oh. I thought that. I thought it was a wow. lot. Wow. That's a good putt. Go on. Oh. So you're in for six. In for six. I sure all. And you still haven't made me play a shot. I've got the ump with myself too much to make you play another shot. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. It's nil nil, isn't it? It's nil nil, mate. Started Why off are like... you not making me take another shot? We can't now. You can't now. You can't, can I? They're all that bad. I don't know which one to make you take again. <laughs> He's got the proper ump. I've got the raving up with myself here. Yeah? Can't lose. Right, it's nil-nil, two to play. And uh, I think the Athletic are big fans of yours. Because, I what, mean... What, the questions? I mean, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Wales' on. former national stadium was the race course ground. Who is this home to? Wrexham. You knew that as well. I knew that. I think everyone knows that. I think everyone knows that. Um, we're going to cross to the hotline, uh, but just tell us what we already know. Yes, that's correct. Wrexham are the team to play their football at the racecourse ground. Wrexham it is. Oh, is it another beauty? That driver's working, mate. Yes. Come on. Game on here, by the way. Come on. Oh, that's a beauty. <laughs> that is a beauty. That's you say on. 40 past it. Yeah. Let's try 65. It's about, it's about two foot deep in the mud, though. James, you played with some uh, proper characters, especially at West Ham. Yeah. Who, who's the best character you've ever come across in football? As in... Mad, like funny. Good. I mean, the West Ham bunch were good, weren't they? We had a, been really lucky at West Ham. We had... Just good lads, good team spirit always, and a lot of that's down to Nobs. Yeah. Nobs a character, you know him as, as well as me probably, you know, he's yeah. he's always there or thereabouts with the banter, but I think the the funniest boy I've come across in football is Robert Snodgrass. Oh, You've heard stories? Yeah. Mate, he is just all over funny. Whether it's his banter, stuff he does, I think you ask anyone who, who's played with Snods. He's, he's hilarious. Can you give me a few examples? Just, uh, I don't know who it was, someone coming in a rascal pair of trainers or something. Yeah. You know, the old band used to cut up socks and all that. Yeah. And I remember one day, I can't remember who the player was, but they were bad trainers or shoes or whatever. So went out for training, I think Snods might have been injured. Coming from training, everyone's had their shower by the bar. And this player, I can't, like I said, I can't remember, gone to put his shoes on and they're super glued to the floor. <laughs> It might have been Angelo Agbonna, yeah. maybe. And everyone's like, obviously, gone, wetting themselves. But Angelo's fuming. Oh, <laughs> proper, yeah. Proper oh, he's fuming. Like, he's gone. Lost, he's just because I think they were obviously expensive shoes, but yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't, uh, he wasn't too happy. But just, just. Can you tell me he stood in them. I and don't, yeah. Him <laughs> to be <laughs> fair, you wouldn't want to row with Angelo. He's a big lump, but yeah. uh, just stuff in the medical room he'd do, and just funny, funny boy. And then you've got other characters like on a night out there and that's as well after a couple of beers, do you know what I mean? Go on, tell but, me. Yeah, yeah. Go. Oh, there's a few, there's a Fill few. Me in. I don't mean nutters, I mean... Yeah. No, 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 We had, no, we had a fight, good, good like... time. Uh, me and Andy always had a good time. Me and Big Andy Cow yeah. always had a good time. He's a great lad. Uh, Richard Dunn, got on great with Richard Dunn. We, uh, going back to Villa, we, when we first signed, we both lived in the Belfry for like six months. Game on. And... Uh, What's the nightclub called there? Bel Air. I don't know, never, I don't know, never, never been. I don't know what you're on about, never been. Um, yeah, we just, it, like, me and Danny were the same sort of characters, you know, like we played hard, yeah. worked hard, played hard, you know what I mean, and, and enjoyed ourselves. So when we lived together, we, uh, 
I lived together, lived in the Balfour with yeah. train, back to the hotel, a couple of beers and... Going belly. <laughs> Going belly. <laughs> I'm probably, I'm probably, I'm probably barred from there, to be honest. <laughs> Snodgrass, we need him on here. Mate, if you get him on... Bad back. I, I don't know if he's much of a golfer, but if you can get him on, he honestly, just funny. Oh, mate. Just funny, funny boy, man. And t talking about getting people on, Simon Davies. Oh, please. How he hasn't been Jim, on here. Please. The amount of these I've sorted. watched uh, with Jamie and other people. The, every, it's like did, Simon Jamie, did Jamie tell you the story about what Paul McGinley said about Simon Davis? He did actually on the, uh, on the four old challenge. He said he should be. A pro. So Paul McGinley has played with everyone. Yeah. Tiger was the lot. Paul McGinley put Simon Davis in the top five ball strikers he's ever, ever seen. And as in professional golfers. That played is, with Tiger Woods. Top obscene. five. D D Diggs is off the charts. I know Jimmy plays, Gary O'Neill was a decent golfer. There's good golfers out there, but you ask anyone who's played with Simon, it's a different, different level. That's you, Tube, yeah? Yeah, that's me, yeah. Do you want to, um, we'll see you in half hour. I'm just going to go <laughs> get my free wood here. So, to... Look at this. Look you at might, your is... second shot might not get to my three wood. <laughs> just saying. Oh, it's oh. trouble. No, no, no. Am I all right? You're in. You're in bounds. Oh, sit. That's all over if it sits. Oh. Go in, yo. That's a golf shot, mate. Bad shot? That's a golf shot. Oh, gee, I thought you said bad shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. Oh. Oh, I thought that was better. It's a nice oh. stroke, though. So what's that? You're in for five? In for five. Woo. So I need to hold this for the win, though, because I'll give you a shot on every hole. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I bombed it. Oh, my God, I bombed another one. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, and he's rolled it in. Oh, I tell you what, <laughs> I didn't fancy it. That's why I just stood Squeaky over it. I didn't fancy time. it at all. <laughs> What's that? Still nil nil? Nil nil. Nil nil one to play. Right, next question. Who is England's most capped player? I know that. I think everyone knows that. Peter Shilton. Peter Shilton. Let's find That's out. With over 1,000 professional appearances throughout his career, Peter Shilton made 125 appearances for the English national side, and he is the country's all-time leading appearance maker. Peter Shilton it was? Yeah. Right, so oh, no only, only right, no shots down the yeah. last. OK, here we go then. Good luck, mate, and just want to say thanks for doing this. No Honestly, worries, it's been top, top class. Here we go. Oh, it's a beauty, mate. That's a beauty. You can't hit it better than that. God, I'm taking that all day long. Just coming into your own now, ain't you? Oh. It's the wrong fairway. I've let you in, mate. I've got no idea where this is going. Oh my lord! That's trouble. Oh. 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 <laughs> Knifed it. I mean, it's not great. Right, this is big, this shot, this mate. Is massive. Big shot. Quick and all. Come on, eight on. Oh, he's played it lovely. He's played it lovely. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. Oh! Oh, nice he's... Oh, thank you. Nice shot. I thought you were literally conceding there. Well, I can't win, because I've got to give you that. 
It's not been great, is it? For me. <laughs> I've left another one out there. Oh, Mr. James Collins. I'm absolutely devastated. <laughs> Gifted. England win 1 0. Gifted. Well done, mate. Mate, thank Good you game. so much, no mate. Worries. Really, Enjoy really it. appreciate it. And a massive, massive thank you to The Athletic for putting this all together so we could have the uh, legend James Collins on and play England versus Wales. And remember, any World Cup queries, check out the hotline, which is down below. And make sure you subscribe to The Athletic. Cheers, legends, golf life.